this is the new clearly superior thread kit for the TRS-80 Model 1 expanded system. If your computer looks like this, in that you have the Model 1 expansion interface and a disk drive, this is the thread kit that you need for your system. What it comprises of is the thread itself, a power supply cable which will install inside the expansion interface to power the thread and either a boot, boot floppy to uh, start the system up or a auto boot EEPROM which is installed inside the computer um, to boot the thread without a floppy disk. This uh, auto boot ROM requires uh, soldering but no trace cutting. So I'll start with showing you how the power cord is attached inside the expansion interface. Okay, our power cable has two test clips on it. A black one for ground and a green one for 5 volts. This is an early model expansion interface and I'll show you the later model expansion interface uh, after this one. We want to connect the um, ground one to the negative on the largest capacitor on the circuit board and we want to connect the 5 volts one to the positive side of this capacitor C51 just like that. So that's now connected. We want to run our cable off to the side through the through the port here. What I tend to do is tie a knot in the cable and then put it around that post and then put the lid back on the expansion interface so that uh, the cable snugly in place and can't be pulled out of the system damaging it. On the redesigned expansion interface we um, follow the same procedure. So we take our black lead which is ground and connect it to the to the um, negative terminal on the largest capacitor on the motherboard and in this case we take the green one and connect it to the emitter of Q3 like so. So that's it connected now again we've got our hole here put it through the post and hang it out of the circuit board there so now we've got the system connected together. The thread is connected to the expansion bus on the expansion interface. The power cable that we just installed is plugged in here. I've installed the boot ROM into the computer. Instructions are included on how to, to do that uh, with the kit. So let's power it up and see it work. So we turn on our expansion interface and our computer. Starts up with the boot menu choices of new DOS 80, DOS Plus and LDOS. Let's we'll start with new DOS. Bit of glare out here, might be hard to see the screen but you can see there is new DOS. LDOS for those who prefer a Model 4 compatible file structure based operating system and DOS Plus 3.5 which was the third of the big three main popular operating systems for the TRS-80 Model 1. Okay, in case you're wondering how it's achieved we'll have a look inside this thread So we have our normal thread interface here, the Model 1 hard drive adapter inbuilt inside the case and the cable just goes out. The power cable which we installed plugs in here 
and you have just a little neat box that sits on your desk and everything stored on a simple SD card. So if you're after one of these for your Model 1, plug in, ready to go, um, by all means, check my website. Thanks for watching.